in Tulsa, Oklahoma thought it would be a great idea to retaliate against a donut shop that held a drag event by throwing a Molotov cocktail through its window. Now, luckily, the guy is super incompetent and his plan to set the place on fire did not work. It was a defective Molotov cocktail. Now, the donut hole posted security footage of the attack. Uh, we'll take a look at it and describe it for uh, our audio audience, our podcast audience. So you see the guy walk up to the donut shop. He, it, I don't know what he's doing no, there. No, he posted a letter explaining why he's doing it, which uh, is that he hates people that are yeah. LGBT. Okay, so then, then the clown tries to break the glass but can't, beginning to show his incompetence. Super alpha, super alpha. There the, he is trying to uh, light this Molotov cocktail, and he throws it through the window and runs away. Now, uh, the attempt to firebomb the place didn't work. Luckily, uh, authorities said that there was minimal physical damage to the property. Uh, but the donut shop says this isn't the first time they've dealt with what, yeah, I mean, this is clearly like a, a hate crime, right? They were targeted because of a drag event that they had. Well, the guy posted a letter saying he, this is yeah. a hate crime and I'm doing this because I hate you. Their uh, property was uh, damaged previously and they suspect that uh, that was another targeted uh, attack as well. Um, so they of said that someone had smear, uh, smashed windows out of the building on October 16th. That was the night after another drag event they had. Last night we had the privilege of being able to be part of the vision of the Queen's Dirty Dozen. By the way, this isn't even a kid event, right? Like it's just a drag event at a donut shop. Like let people live. Can people live? Can people live, please? Why, like, do we have to abide by whatever your freaking preferences are because you're on the right wing? You want to be a freaking judgy, fuddy duddy? Do it in the comfort of your own home. Go ahead, write your hateful comments online. Let other people, let other adults just enjoy their lives. Anyway, just had to get that out there because they're such buzzkills, these people. Yeah. Well, Anna, so I want to talk about the, the how the right wings are, uh, a lot of them are terrorists now in a second. But to your point, uh, this is the dumbass party that claims that they love freedom. And then when people say, hey, I'm, I wanna be free to be a drag queen and eat donuts. They're like, you are not allowed to have that freedom, I will murder you if you try to have freedom in this country. And they genuinely believe it because they're, I mean, what do, you, what do you want me to call them? You want me to call them smart? You want me to say that they love America? No, they hate America. They're like, everybody being equal, I'll firebomb you if you think you're equal to me. No, and by the way, I mean, there's a lot of, ignorance baked into hatred. And there's so much fear mongering about the transgender community in right wing circles right now in right wing media. That these individuals think that like drag queens and transgender people are the same thing. They're not the same thing. They're very much different. It doesn't matter, it, they, it, they they just look at them okay. and go, I wanna sleep with them and I hate myself. Okay. So what should well, I do? I, mean, I should do firebombing. You know what, take the advice of your hero, Jordan Peterson, and clean your room. Because if you're really concerned about men dressing like women, I mean, I don't know. We can go ahead, let's go to graphic five. Um, is this some uh, left wing progressive or is that Steven Crowder who never misses out on any opportunity to dress like a woman? Any opportunity. 100%. Okay, there's more, there's more. By Lots the way, of examples. Every, there's every another bro one. in Halloween. Mm, here's another one. Must be a predator, right? He must be a predator. Yeah, why is this guy allowed in some bathrooms, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? No, no, they love doing it. And remember J. Edgar Hoover, the biggest right winger probably in American history, that ran the FBI for decades. And he would bash gay people and, and blacks and, and rule with an iron fist. Then it turns out he was a cross dresser, okay? And lived with a guy for a, a very long time. It's self hatred that yeah. Steven Crowder, J. Edgar Hoover, this uh, pathetic terrorist that, uh, in this story, and, uh, and a huge percentage of Republicans are. They're all self haters who want to then punish. Uh, others for their own insecurity. Because they refuse to go to therapy and yeah, deal just with get a therapist. Go to therapy. Jesus Christ, man, and leave us the rest alone. We are for freedom, okay? And they think, no, if you don't agree with me sexually, I gotta agree with you sexually, you freaking losers. Go get your own life, okay? What are you you're worried about my sex life, you losers? Go get your own sex life, okay? Yeah. And so, look, I, I'm not directing it at young. Guys who can't get a date, I've been there, okay? But we were all involuntarily celibate at some point, 
okay? But I'm talking about the guys who then go, I can't get a date, so I gotta go hit, hurt someone else, okay? No, fix yourself instead of trying to bring others down. Now I wanna talk about terrorism. This guy's a vigilante and he's a brown shirt, he's a fascist. And then we have a question about, gee, I wonder where they came from. <laughs> like we're still having a debate. Uh, was it because of Donald Trump that they rioted on January 6th? No, it was because of Jimmy Carter. Are you guys serious? Anyone debating that, are you serious? Gee, I wonder why they did it. Has there ever been a, a giant riot after a Bernie Sanders rally? Can no. You, can you imagine? No, like the little birds land on, on his lectern and everybody applauds. And he's called Bernie Sanders, right? You know why they riot after Trump rallies? Because he tells them, you should do something. They took this away from you. Ah, and he's, he looks like goddamn Hitler driving them to complete and utter violence. And every time you do terrorism like this, the right wing comes out and goes, well, they shouldn't have been drag queens in the first place. You know what, we need to protect our kids, not from the right wing terrorists who try to murder people with that firebomb, <laughs> but we need to protect them from transgender people and gay people. What if they find out that there are gay people in the world? Remember, we have to take their freedom away, says the goddamn Republicans pretending to be in favor of freedom. When they say freedom, they mean freedom for me, not for you. 100%, I mean, George Tiller getting shot and killed because he was uh, providing abortions for women. Uh, you know, by someone who purported to be pro-life. Super pro-life to murder someone because you disagree with the medical services they provide. Yeah, and I'll say this last thing because we always say because we're the good guys. Do not do anything physical, do not strike back, do not do violence, do not do any of that. You know why? Because we're better than them. And we fight with within the realm of politics and rhetoric and we fight in the battlefield of ideas, cowards, fight with guns and Molotov cocktails because they're too stupid to fight in the battlefield of ideas where we slaughter them. Again, not physical, not violence, ideologically we slaughter them. Since they lose so badly and they're so dumb, they resort to physical violence, vigilante violence and terrorism over and over again. And it is not even, 98% of it is right wingers that encourage, hey, we lost, we're dumbasses, so go hit them, go murder them, go firebomb them. That's the right wing. I'm gonna counterbalance your rage with a comment from John Campbell, who's right, who's watching us right now. First, how do you make a defective Molotov cocktail? It is the most basic weapon in the world. Second, why write an explanation letter on paper that will burn to somewhere you want to break down? <laughs> That's uh, such a good point. This is beyond beta, it's Omega. I love our members. In fact, give him a $100 Blue Apron gift card, okay? Give, him a, give it to him. Okay, so <laughs> I'm not kidding, we give away $100 real gift cards yeah. to our members all the time for good comments. We do this show together with the members, tyt.com slash join. You, you feed our soul, we feed your stomach. Ooh, good one. Right, good motto. Okay, I like it. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.